Fewer police officers to check on sex offender compliance. Yes, that is the reality APD faces after the department had to shift some of those officers to patrol units to keep up with the spike in 911 calls. Police Chief Joseph Chacon addressed this with KXAN's Brianna Hollis. As Austin grows, so do its 911 calls. Police cadet classes aren't growing at the same speed. So to keep up, APD says it has to reallocate officers from specialized units to patrol. They all serve important functions. Um, I've simply had to make decisions based on the criticality and the nature of the work and taking 911 calls. This leaves Chief Joseph Chacon with the task of staffing triage. As we've reported in depth, part of the solution is diverting non-emergencies to 311. And this week, we learned APD moved three officers from the Sex Offender Apprehension and Registry Unit. They were the ones in charge of compliance checks. What we have is, is a, a little bit of a diminished capacity on the active compliance checks to go out into the field. Chacon says registration and arrests are still covered, but the dip in proactivity concerns advocate and sex assault survivor Allison Franklin. The proactive uh, measures, right, are to uh, really, you know, identify those signs as a preventative method of, of reoffending. This also brings up questions over the accuracy of the sex offender registry map. So when we do have a sex offender who comes into the office and is either updating the registry or they're moved or whatever it happens to be, we really only know what they're doing when they're sitting right in front of us. The more lax our measures and, and laws are in place around that, the more accessible those places are to them. Chacon says the reallocation um, is contributing to faster response times limit. overall. The bigger and longer term solution is going to be to have cadet uh, academy classes um, graduate more police officers. In Austin, Brianna Hollis, KXAN News. APD's next cadet class graduates a week from today. Well, and yeah.